My name is Diana Folsom and I'm Director of Digital Collections from the Gilcrease Museum and here to talk about um, a wonderful piece of custom software that we have developed and will continue to be developing for a number of years, I think. It's called the DCI, the Distance Cataloging Interface, that catchy name, um, to allow experts, invited experts uh, from many perspectives to help us catalog our collection at the Gilcrease Museum. We're a small museum, have a very uh, a small number of employees, uh, but we have a huge collection of something like 450,000 items, including archives, archaeology, and art materials. And we have one and a half curators, so, oh, maybe two now. So, <laughs> so we uh, require or, or, or um, uh, really need the help of experts from around the country to assist us with cataloging. And in this first effort, uh, the software uh, was developed uh, and improved with the advice of my colleague, Dr. Ann Early, and other native artists uh, in, uh, around Northeast Oklahoma and Arkansas. Uh, so Dr. Early will talk a little bit about using the software. Uh, my name's Ann Early and I'm the Arkansas State Archaeologist. And I've been in that position since 1999, but for 20 years before that, I was a researcher and my specialty is prehistoric ceramics, and the Caddo area uh, of southwest Arkansas and neighboring states. So I'm familiar with the particular collection that was the uh, case study for this project, mm -hmm. the Lemley Collection made in the 1950s. And I can sit using the DCI <laughs> in my office with my reference materials and my assistant, student assistant, and dial into the Gilcrease and one by one look at objects in this collection and review the information that's already in there and then offer comments to the Gilcrease about each item. The typology, the age, uh, the description of the vessel. And I have begun the project of adding the archaeological site code for each object. That information is not at Gilcrease but we have a database of 50,000 archaeological sites and I am linking each of the plots to the archaeological site in our database to enhance the scholarly and historical and managerial values to the collection and to the state of Arkansas's knowledge about the collection. And it works very, very well. It's certainly much better than getting in the car and driving <laughs> two hours to Gilcrease, although I like to do that as well. <laughs> right. But you could spend that time cataloging. I can, exactly, <laughs> and I do. Yeah, it's really great. I've finished in a year 1,700 or so vessels, and I have a year's worth of work to go, uh, but I find it interesting myself intellectually, and I think it will be worthwhile when I finally reach the end. <laughs>